There's so a, it's not the There's roles. a follow-up thing here. What's your advice for a young aspiring actor, which you, you've already just said, what about for you? What, what advice would you give a young actor? Know how not to work, because you're going to do that more than work. Uh-huh. Yeah, be happy. And you have to be own. really good at it. And, and what about as a woman? Are there, are there things that you would offer as a, a piece of advice? Yeah, I think a... try to develop. And, and they're teaching, they're actually, because uh, my dearest friend, my dearest oldest friend from drama school is Melissa Smith, who runs the uh, acting department at ACT. And there, she's told me, they're actually starting to teach them how to produce their own work. Instead of waiting wow. around to have someone give you a job, you produce your own work. And I think that is a really important thing for female actors to remember, that if you want to tell the stories of females, then you've got to, you've got to make them, because there's... But it is strange, because unlike other art forms, like you, if you're a musician, you can busk on your own. If you're an artist, you can paint your own, you can do it in the dirt. With, but if you're an actor, you do kind of need other people. And so, so that's, <laughs> you know, I think you have to like your own company. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, or, or learn to like your own company uh -huh. because, as Fran said, you spend quite a lot of time by yourself. Right. Either traveling or in a trailer, waiting for a scene right. or whatever. So. Yeah. Having a, an avocation that's creative is really important, I think, too. Um, for Condleth, on Game of Thrones, <laughs> most of the major characters have been killed off. How have you survived? <laughs> I got pictures of the showrunners naked. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, well, uh, uh, well, because that's what George R. R. Although that uh, uh, wrote, uh, he's still alive in the books right. as far as we've gone with right. him. But uh, uh, and I guess they were at least happy enough with my work not to kill me off. So <laughs> I'm still there. I'm, I assume it's been a a joyful experience. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely life-changing in, in so many ways. The fact that I remember doing my first show on Broadway in 2000 and somebody giving me a box set of The Sopranos and that white noise logo at the beginning and I just thought, oh, I'd love to do something like this, but I'd have to leave home. I'd, I, you know, I'd have to go to the, uh, across the other side of the world and, and they came to me. So the lesson is if you wait long enough, Right. Because they shoot. They shoot it in an hour away from where I grew up and live. <laughs> they moved there just for you. It's, it's astonishing. No. <laughs> of course the they circus, didn't. The circus it's came just, to town. The circus came to me. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to run away to join it. It came. So it's great. I've, I've it. heard you say also uh, in the past that you know, it was not the kind of thing that you originally thought that you'd be interested in doing. That no, the truth is, uh, <clears throat> are we all right, Michael? Yeah. I just have to land a plane here once. <laughs> 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 the truth is, I avoided it. Right. Uh, my agent at the time said, you've got to go meet these guys. I do dungeons and dragons and sword fighting. And, and so they eventually came to Belfast, and she went there an hour away, go and meet them. Right. So I did, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's a spin-off question there. I mean, you both, um, and I, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm being a little invasive here, but you both seem to have a rather cautious relationship with fame and celebrity. I mean, um, I mean, I know that you spent 10 or 12 years not doing press um, as a conscious choice to both raise your child. And, and I think, as I've heard you talk, you know, more just sort of, you know, protect yourself from that level of just invasion. Is that, what do you, what do you, what is your negotiation with celebrity and fame like these days? I mean, now you're obviously emerging as a television star. That's the most popular TV show in the history but I, of the I'm, world. I'm a character actor, so right. Um, you know, with a with a couple of months of hair growth, I'm I'm left alone. Right. And, <laughs> and I have to say, my experience has been that most people have been pleasant and well mannered uh -huh. and not particularly scary. But by and large, I'm left alone. But uh -huh. it's. Like, I don't have a celebrity lifestyle, uh -huh. and I never wanted one, and uh -huh. I think that's all a fallacy. And right. And I'd just rather let my work speak for itself rather than me. I'm, I think the mistake lots of people make is that they think actors, because they get up and do what they do, are tremendously spontaneous and tremendously off the cuff. And right, right. 
can give you a great sound bite, but the reality is you've rehearsed for, for at least four weeks, if not six or seven. Right. So there's very little that's spontaneous right. about right. what we do for a living, but it's, you know, it's kind of like, you do something, you, you're an actor. No, you go teach a geography lesson then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, and I don't, this is okay, uh -huh. but um, I'm, I, just, I just turn into Rain Man when I'm interviewed, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> Because I don't know what to say. It's not scripted for me. It's uh -huh. not, uh -huh. you know. It also, you know, I, and, and forgive me because you've heard this, me yeah. rant about it. Uh -huh. the, I, we've, we've become, the, the culture of celebrity has become so absurd. And it's, and it's powering uh, young people's lives in uh, an extraordinary way. And, and, and social media has taken away any privacy or any idea or any concept of privacy that they, uh, it's, it's like they're all spies. I watch them and then they're always like with the, I don't know, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, I'm gonna check on something. Oh, it's like they're all double agents, triple agents. It's like there's some strange cold yeah, war thing going on. Yeah, I find it quite disturbing it's that it's, really it's an ordinary and, and well-documented aspiration for a young person to want to be famous. Yeah, uh -huh. there's no not, work. Not with any specific. Not, right, no, right. You know, I've been able, you talk to my daughter and I say, well, what does she want to do? Is she a singer, a dancer, an actor? No, just famous. <laughs> well, What's I that? don't know that. Yeah. Because you can be famous for, you know, Anything. sticking a pin in somebody. I mean, you, right, it's right, like, right. so I think that part of, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to make it sound like I, uh, I, I don't want to give myself any credit because it was purely selfish, my decision not to do press and publicity. I, I wanted to take my life back. But also, it, there, there's an interesting thing that people who enjoy your work as an actor, they'll say, well, you know, if it wasn't for us, if it wasn't for your fans, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for your audience, mm -hmm, you and that's what your audience wants. Right. I'll say, well, I didn't become an actor to give you what you want. Mm -hmm. I, gave, I became an actor to act, to serve stories that were, you were gonna be uh, privy to hearing, but it's, there's no direct relationship to wanting to be an actor and giving a fan what they want. Mm -hmm. Fandom and, and, and fame is a completely separate category from being an actor. Right. So I don't see it as part of the job. Right. I think that if you are, if you're, uh, you know, if you, if you want to support a theater, mm -hmm. which is what we're doing, Conleth and I really love working at Berkeley Rep, and we were really happy to support them by doing things like this. But it's not, we're not obligated in any way. Yeah. We're only obligated mm -hmm. to, to be the best Macbeth and Lady Macbeth and to serve Dan's production mm -hmm. of it. Right.